Hi everyone, this is Sujit and today we are going to be taking a look at how to convert to F2FS file system. And uh, if you are not aware, F2FS stands for Flash VD file system and uh, it is the latest technology. The current generation of mobile phones comes with EXT4 file system. And uh, the advantage with F2FS is that it has been designed specifically for a flash memory like the ones used in our mobile phones. So the initial statistics and benchmarks have shown that F2FS uh, does have a performance advantage over the uh, EXT4 file system. Even there's a thread on uh, XDA about it. So overall, yes, F2FS does have a performance advantage. So let's jump in and take a look at what's required to convert to F2FS. In this tutorial, we will be formatting the partitions to F2FS file system. Now, if you are not aware, formatting a partition means it deletes all the data on that particular partition. And in this tutorial, we will be formatting all the three all the three partitions. So there would be no files that would remain on your mobile phone. Everything would be wiped out. So if you require any files, please back it up to a different device like a computer or a USB drive. Okay, this tutorial is going to be very simple. There would be no command line arguments and no command prompts and things like that. It's going to be straightforward. Now, if you're aware of how to flash a ROM, if you're aware what a recovery is and what are partitions, then it's fine if you are not aware of these terms then i recommend you go through these understand these terms before following up this tutorial okay so let's start with the tutorial let's start with the software requirements what is needed to convert to f2fs two things the recovery and the rom both have to support f2fs for recovery i would be using fills touch it has been modified to support F2FS by Catinatus and for the ROM I would be using TMSX ROM but it does not support F2FS out of the box so we would be using Zephod's version he has modified it he has added the F2FS support now if you head over to Zephod's thread you will find the modified version of TMSX ROM. It has been modified to support F2FS file system. Now you have to make a choice if you want to go for a F2FS all configuration or a, a F2FS and EXT4 mixed configuration. Now uh, there are three main partitions of the Android system that is uh, system partition, data and cache partitions. In F2FS all all these three partitions will be formatted to F2FS and in uh, the mixed configuration only the data and cache would be formatted to F2FS while the system partition would remain as uh, EXT4. The developer Zephod himself has mentioned that uh, he prefers the mixed configuration. It is the best of both the worlds but it's a personal choice. You can try it out and decide. For me, I would go for the F2FS all implementation. Now based on this choice, you have to select the ROM that you are going to download. If you go to the download section, you will be given choices like uh, 2P and 3P. 2P is nothing but 2 partition and 3P is 3 partitions. So if you are formatting all the 3 partitions to F2FS, you will be selecting the 3P variant of the ROM. If you go for the mixed configuration, that is you are formatting only 2 partitions to F2FS, you will be selecting the 2P variant of the ROM. So if say I want F2FS all configuration, I would go and download the 3P variant of the ROM. Okay, so so far I have talked about the software requirements uh, to convert to F2FS file system. So you need a, a OTG cable as well as a pen drive because once you have formatted your partitions, there would be nothing left on your phone. So you need to copy the F2FS uh, modified ROM onto the pen drive and you would need an OTG cable. So let's see how do we convert it to F2FS. How do we format the partitions to F2FS. Once the recovery is loaded, uh, we go ahead and select the wipe and format option. Here I select the custom format option. 
and here there is uh, I need to toggle F2FS to EXT4 migration once I toggle that I can see that in the log it says ext4 to f2fs conversion enabled now after this is enabled I select any partition I get an option to select the file system that I want uh, to format it to so here as you can see I get an option of f2fs once I select f2fs the system partition would be formatted to f2fs I won't actually do that I'll just go back so this way you will need to format three partitions that is the system the cache and data and data media don't worry about data because selecting the fourth option that is format data and data media would automatically take care of data so once you have done this all the data on your phone would be wiped out so how do we install the how do we install the rom so for that we are using this uh, otg cable and pen drive so as soon as i plug in the otg cable as you can see uh, the recovery has automatically detected and mounted this uh, storage device so in this particular pen drive you would be storing the uh, rom and here you can select install zip and here as you can see you have the option of a storage USB disk once I select that I can see the files on the pen drive from here you can select the ROM and proceed with the installation okay once the installation is complete uh, you can go into mounts and storage and from here you can unmount the storage USB so as you can see it is unmounting and you can see idle unmounted so at this point I unplug the pen drive and I go back and I select the reboot system now so after this your one plus one would be loaded 